This is my filterless self-cleaning aquarium where the plants and microorganisms do most of the maintenance for me. Fast-grown plants absorb ammonium reducing toxic ammonia and nitrite levels while also managing the potentially toxic total dissolved solid ions. That means I rarely have to do water changes in this specific tank. Meanwhile, shrimp, snails and microorganisms also break down the decaying organic matter in the tank so I don't have to gravel vacuum. It's a system designed to be as low maintenance as possible while also staying healthy. This is month 3 of the tank and the biggest challenge is dealing with the staghorn algae outbreak that I've had. This is a curse because it makes a tank look unsightly but it's also a blessing because it lets me show how this type of system in an aquarium can rebalance itself if given time. I'm not really a fan of using chemicals to deal with algae and I prefer letting nature take its course so I've reduced the lighting intensity, reduced the water flow and I'm waiting for the nutrient levels in the tank to stabilise. I've also made some plant swaps in the tank. I've removed the Bacopa Compact and replaced it with Ludwigia for more red highlights in the back left. I also heavily trimmed back the Limnophila sessla flora in the back right because it was dominating the tank. I do plan to remove the house plants from the rim because they seem to be outcompeting my submerged plants for nutrients, but it's all part of balancing a new tank, so we'll see how things go moving forward.